is up guys? Another beautiful day in Nebraska to be riding. Uh, not. It's supposed to be like 35 plus mile an hour wind gusts today. So things could get interesting. And as you might know if you've watched a couple of my last videos, I have been riding my motorcycle illegally all month of October. My plates expired at the end of September and I have forgotten to go renew my tags. So I got about 10 to 15 minutes left to try and not get pulled over, so we'll see how that goes too. You know, and let's talk about the uh, registration of a motorcycle here in Nebraska. I think it's ridiculous. I have a 1999 sport bike. It weighs like 400 pounds, only has two wheels. So, you know, the footprint on the road is pretty much nothing. Dude, it's like 55 bucks for a year of registration, which in Minnesota, I was able to register my car for like a hundred. Down here my car's like 150. It's outrageous. But you know you win some, you lose some. All it is is money, right? And you know, I like I like to ride, so it's worth $55 a year. It's cheaper than a Xbox Live membership. So I mean there's that plus, and I ride a lot more than I play Xbox. But it's the principle of it. I mean Nebraska, where I live, they don't have enough money somehow to keep the roads maintained. In Minnesota, they were able to maintain the roads and the roads held up better. There weren't as many potholes as there are down here. So I don't know what it is. Maybe they just don't pull enough people over and give tickets that go towards the road. But it is ironic, they, uh, they just took the uh, county treasurer to court or filed a bunch of charges against him for like embezzlement and stealing money. So that makes sense on why we don't have enough money for the roads. But if, you know, if they're finding out that all this stuff was going down, wouldn't you think that they'd be able to, uh, you know, put the money back in or I, I don't know. They, they charge this guy and keep the rates the same. Don't make them go up. My rates just went up this year, like three or four dollars. Well, you just figured out why you have a lack of money. You don't need to start charging people more. But I guess it is what it is. I just got pulled over. This sucks. Embarrassing. Oh. Morning. Okay. First time I've been pulled over on a bike, so. <laughs> I'm on my way there right now, honestly. Okay. Do you have your License, registration, yeah, what if I grab it in the bag? There's insurance. You said license too? Yep, I got that as well. Yes, sir. And, yep, er, that's the one that expired. I just tend to hang on to things. Oh. There we go. That's the most current one. And like I said, headed there right now. Okay. Right okay. And I'll be right back with you, sir. Thank you. Oh, this blows. I saw them too. I knew they were going to come after me. Oh. <sighs> I hope I don't sound too much like a nervous Nancy, too. I mean, I always get worked up when I get pulled over. You know, those nerves just go crazy. Oh, and he had to pull me over on campus, too. I mean, the one place there's a ton of foot traffic. I'm getting judged so hard right now. All right, so here's your license and registration. Back. Thank you. What's a good phone number for you? 402 417 for the registration have you have you had a registration citation in Lincoln before never no okay if you get the, the motorcycle registered within 10 days and you 
if you take this copy that I'm going to give you down to the courthouse, 575 South 10th, it's actually the doors on the north side. Technically, it's 555 South 10th. Okay. If you go up to the third floor... The north side of stairs, you mean? Yeah. Yep, okay. Yep, on the north side there. They will dismiss the registration citation charge. Okay. So, it'll just okay. kind of like a fix-it ticket in a way? Glorified fix-it ticket. Okay. They do still keep the, the court fee for the... That's basically like a, the court fee of $49, but none of the registration stuff will show up. Okay. Okay? Questions for me? No. All right, sir. If you'll just sign by the ex, the yeah. permission of guilt, just says that you'll take care of the citation. Be safe today, sir. You as well. Thank you. Well, cock and balls. just couldn't cut me a break, could he, man? I'm on my way to the TMV to get that stuff renewed. Oh. At least he didn't say anything about how loud my exhaust is. You know, and that's kind of stupid that they keep the court costs. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a little, I'm a little ticked off right now. He couldn't, couldn't just give me a warning, man. I was polite. I was nice. But I did jinx myself, you know, with the whole uh, <laughs> wondering why they don't have money. <laughs> Probably because they're not collecting enough money from tickets. Well, they got me. And I got a clean record too, man. I, I've never been issued a ticket in the state of Nebraska. <sighs> Can't believe that wasn't a warning. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to run to the DMV like as planned, get my, get my new registration, and then I'm headed straight down to the courthouse. I'm going to call my boss and be like, hey, I'm going to be a little bit late to work. I'm just going to go take care of all of it, get it out of the way, figure out what I got to pay. This is fucking ridiculous. You know, maybe if he doesn't have his paperwork turned in, maybe they'll wipe it all clean if I show that I'm so proactive about it. Who knows? One can only hope, right? Oh, it just totally grinds my gears. It is what it is. I mean, I should have known better. But come on, man. At least he didn't say anything about my exhaust. I think I said that already. But it's nice to know that they, uh, they didn't care about my noise level. Let's go see how long this takes. Alright, down at the TMV, let's run to the courthouse real quick, get that shit waved. Oh, I'm so late for work. Right there's a spot, hell yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, well. Finally done at the courthouse. I don't know how people that work for the city can just be so nonchalant and slow. I beat the ticket to the city attorney. They haven't filed it. Obviously, I've only got it 30 minutes ago. So I now have to count on their ability to watch for it. They made a copy of everything and wrote on their notes to do not file my ticket. So it's, it's washed as long as they catch it and do not file it. But I have to wait until you know mid next week and call in and make sure otherwise then I'm in, I'm in trouble somehow if they don't catch it and accidentally file it. Fucking really. 